Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, let us understand maximum power transfer theorem applied to the series circuit. The maximum power transfer theorem says the maximum power will be transferred to a load in the circuit when the value of the load resistance is equal to the Thevenin's equivalent resistance of the circuit. Here the load resistance is taken as RL when this RL is equal to R equivalent of that particular circuit resistance the maximum power P maximum will be transferred to the load that is what the meaning of maximum power transfer theorem. First we need to understand what is power in the circuit. The power P will be represented as I into V means current flowing through the circuit and the voltage across that load will be called as power delivered to the load. So to understand this let us assume there is an voltage source which is represented as V where it will be having a series resistance of R and we have connected a load RL. Now I am considering this circuit and because of this polarity in the supply voltage the current flow in this direction let me call it as IL. So this is IL and this is RL so we can write this expression for P as IL into R the total voltage V. Here we can also write this power expression as I square into RL. This is also the expression for power since V is equal to I into R. In this expression if we consider if this RL increases what happens? If the load resistance increases what happens? Since P is equal to IL square into RL if the right hand side parameter increases P also increases. It makes P2 increase. If power increases because of the RL increment what about IL after some time IL keep on decreases if the resistance increases current flowing through the circuit decreases as soon as IL decreases this power also started to decrease power also decreases from this what we have understood is that if you plot a graph of power versus resistance that is RL as we increase RL power is also increasing at some point when IL started to decrease power also decreasing means we are going to get the maximum power P maximum at this particular point where we will be having RL at this point. This RL we need to find out what is the amount of RL we need to choose to get the maximum power delivered to the load. You can observe here at this particular point if you draw a tangent here the slope will be 0. The slope can be calculated as dp divided by d into rl differentiate power with respect to rl that is p in y axis and rl x axis the slope will be equal to 0. So if we differentiate the power expression with respect to rl and if we equate that to 0 we will be getting what actually the value of rl we can choose to deliver the maximum power. So for this let us differentiate that expression for power. So power can be written as we know that P is equal to I square L into RL. What is I here? The current through this particular circuit I can be written as the total voltage here it is V and the resistance is R plus RL. I is equal to V by R. So I am going to write it as V divided by R plus RL. So power can be written as V divided by R plus RL whole square into RL. Now this is the expression we got for power. Now we need to differentiate this power expression P with respect to DRL. So when we differentiate with respect to RL and if we equate that to 0 we are going to get the RL expression that will be the load resistance we are supposed to choose to transfer the maximum power and let me differentiate this by writing the expression for P once again. This power expression is V divided by R plus RL whole square into RL. This is the expression. Now I need to differentiate this P with respect to D into RL. It is in the form U by V. So if you apply U by V rule and if we apply u by v rule of differentiation it says v into du by dt uh, 
the difference the differential expression becomes v into du by dt minus u into dv by dt this is how we can differentiate this expression which is in uh, in the form u by v so the expression becomes after differentiation it is v square since it is constant we can take it out in the denominator we will be having r plus rl r plus rl square and d by drl of uh, u that is rl this is rl and minus rl into d by drl of v v is r plus rl square divided by divided by v square v is r plus r whole square this is how the differentiation will be so if we solve this expression if we solve this expression by taking v square divided by r plus r l square to the right side since it is equal to 0 this term becomes 0 the remaining term is r plus r l square into uh, d r l divided by this becomes 1 minus here it is r l into uh, this becomes 2 into r plus r l into d by d r l of r plus r l this will be equal to 0 now we need to equate that to 0 here again we can uh, write it as r plus r l whole square minus 2 into r l into r plus r l again here this r small r is constant if we differentiate r l with respect to r l it is again 1 so it becomes 1 it will be equal to 0 now i am uh, taking out of these two expressions r plus r l as common if you take r plus r l as common it becomes r plus r l the remaining thing over here minus here we will be having 2 into r l that will be equal to 0 again i am transferring this term to the right side since we have 0 at the right side if we transfer this it becomes 0 and the remaining thing is r plus r l minus 2 into r l is equal to 0 here r r plus uh, here we will be having r plus r l minus 2 r l it is r l is equal to 0 so the r is equal to r l this is the expression we got for r l here r l will be equal to the equivalent resistance which will be having in our circuit that is r once the r l is equal to the equivalent resistance of the circuit then we say the maximum power will be transmitting to the load to transmit the maximum power you should have rl is equal to r equivalent here r equivalent is r in our circuit this is how we can derive the maximum power transfer theorem in a series network so in the power expression if you substitute rl is equal to r what happens now power expression is v divided by r plus rl whole square into rl now we got this rl is equal to r now I am substituting that V divided by R plus R it is whole square into R. Now this expression becomes V square R divided by 2R to the power 2. If you simplify this it becomes 2 square R into 4 R square. Again here R and R get cancelled it becomes V square divided by 4R. R L is equal to R we will be having a power of v square divided by 4 into r equivalent here r equivalent in our circuit it is r that's why we are getting r here this is the power expression when the maximum power is delivering to the load